lesson, I, I almost forgot. All right. So, uh, again, you were saying, Amer? Yes. What's the sound of GH? F. Okay. And um, the other way to read it or to pronounce it is what? So sometimes it, it comes as F. Okay, we read it F. Talia, can you tell us the other way to read it? Um, we pronounce it silent. Yeah, but it's, we don't pronounce it. Excellent. So sometimes we pronounce it as F and sometimes it is silent. Who wants to give me examples on the two ways of, the, of uh, its pronunciation? Yes, yeah, Hamza. Hamza. Uh, on the on the F, we can say cough. Cough, cough. Yes. So, uh, in regard of F, uh, the sound F, we have the word cough, and when it comes silent, like uh, though, though. Excellent, though. Bravo. Thank you so much, yeah, Hamza. Now let's go to our examples in the book. Um, so, as you see, you should be able to read the words with silent GH, like you have to know that GH here is silent. And um, read it with F sound. So you have to distinguish between the words uh, where we read it F and where we read it or we don't pronounce it at all. And then I want to use these words in sentences. Okay. Let's start with the silent GH. So who wants to read this word? Mustafa. Mustafa. Here it is. Read it. Do. Again, please. Do. Do. Again. Do. Do. Now, do is a conjunction. What do you mean by a conjunction? It's like, uh, can you give me other examples on conjunctions? It's like and, but. For, so conjunctions are the words that connect two clauses together, two sentences, simple sentences together. So the is what is a conjunction, right? It means it's, it has the, the same meaning of also. Now I want someone else to read the example, Alma. Yes, teacher. Read this example. She kept working kept. even so was she was tired. Bravo. So as you see, she kept working, okay, even though she was tired. So when someone is tired, you think that he will stop working. But this girl kept working even though. So that's how you use though, okay? Can you see now where and how to use it? So as you see, it's connected. She kept working and she was tired. It connected two sentences together. All right. Now we have here another word, Talia. Through. Through, bravo. Now through is a preposition, right? It's like under, yes. uh, under, above, and into, and what have you. So through, as you see, the train is going through what? The tunnel. The tunnel. Bravo. What does it mean? Read its meaning. From one end or side of something to the other. Exactly. So when you go through something, you go from one side to another side of this thing. Okay? Like when you go through a tunnel. You go through the beginning to its end. From one side of it to the other like side. Under. 
All right, let's look at this example. Uh, let's see who wants to read it. Yeah, Bana Bustam. Yes, teacher. Okay, read this example for us. Okay, don't go through the, this tunnel. Bravo. Don't go through this tunnel, for example. Let's look at this word. Yeah, Jawad. Yes, teacher. Read this example. Uh, I mean this word. Fought. Fought. Bravo. It's what? What is it? Is it a noun? Verb. Is it an adjective? It's a verb. Do you know its meaning? Come uh, on. This picture can help you. These two guys are fighting. They fought each other. So. What? Fought. The past of fight fought. Yes, bravo. It is the past part and the past tense of fight. It's verb two and three of the word fight. And the thought is verb uh, two. Two and three. Past, past, which is verb two, and past participle, which is verb three of the word fight, okay? All right, so now let's ask someone to read us this example on the word thought. Now, at the end of this lesson, I will ask you to give me your own example. So try to prepare yourself for this exercise from now. Yeah, um, Selma bed. Selma, can you read us this example? Tom fought bravely. Bravely, bravely, like, without fear. Okay, he wasn't he wasn't afraid of fighting. Bravo, Tom fought bravely. All right. Now, what do we have here? Yeah, Sa'er. Hi, teacher. Hello, Sa'er. Can you read us this word? Hi. Yeah, but it's hi. So as you see, G and H here are silent, right? Yes. What is it? Is it a verb, a noun? What part of the speech is that? It's a, it's a noun. No. Look at the, the blue. It's an adjective. So you describe you describe things by saying they are high, for example. Look at this tower. It is very high. So I describe that with the word high, okay? So what, what does it mean? The word high, yes, I Word high adjective. It's meaning, can you read it? Oh, above, above, above the usual. 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 Yes, and you are j, usual, yeah. Usual or normal, normal mm. level or wait wait or uh, um, um, you, um, unit. amount amount okay because o and u are pronounced out amount. amount so high means above the usual or nor normal level or amount as you see so this is can you can you look at this picture guys as you see, all these towers um, are almost the same height. Okay? So this is the normal level of height. However, this tower is very high. Why? Because it's above this normal height. Okay? It exceeds their, their height. Good. So now let's go to see another student. I, I have here an example. Who would like to read it? Yes, Talia. Okay. Um, read the example. The example, right? Mhm. Mm how high is that building? Mhm. Mm Good. You can say how high is that building? It's a question. All right. So now we are done with the words with the um. G H with the sound um or with the with the silent G H. Now let's move on to the words which have. Uh, the GH, which are pronounced F. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with uh, Mustafa. Yes, read, the, read this word, please. Cough. 
Ko. Ko. Yes. It is what? It is, what part of the speech is it? It is a verb. And read its meaning. Uh, to send air out uh, of your uh, throat. What the teacher? Yeah. And uh, mouth with a suddenly uh, sudden uh, loud noise. Exactly. So that's what you do when you cough. You send air out of your mouth with a sudden loud noise. It ha it's, uh, this act of coughing is noisy. All right. We have an example here. And I want, I want someone new to read it. Who didn't answer, guys? Or who, who didn't read any? All right. Safe al Yes. Um, I am sure that Ted's cough is due to smoking. Bravo. Excellent. All right. Look at this um, adjective here. Uh, who wants to read it? And its meaning, of course. Ibrahim and Nadir. Yes. Read tough. this. Tough. Bravo. Tough. What, what part of the speech is it? Adjective. It's an adjective. And can you tell us what it means? Very strong. Exactly. When you say that someone is tough, it's me, it means that he's very strong. Now we have an example, and I want someone else to read this example. Yeah. Aya Rawashde. Aya. Very strong. Yes. Read the example. Uh, we can't hear you. Like a thought. Like what? Can you read this word again? No. Oh, it is what? Act like a thought. Aya, Aya, repeat it after me. Tough. Aya, it is tough, not tough. Tough. I'm not hearing In this word, you. I'm not hearing you. In this word, uh, the combination letter of G H is pronounced F, so it is tough. Okay. Let's move to the next word here and let us have another student read it. All right, so let's ask Qasem. Qasem, are you with us? Can you hear us? No. Zina Asad. Rough. All right, Zina. Read this word, please. Uh, rough. Excellent. Rough. So the sound of GH here is? F. F. Yes. And what, what part of the speech is this word? Adjective. It's an adjective. Thank you so much. Now, as, if you look at this picture, the opposite of rough is? Mm smooth excellent so let me have another student to read its meaning yeah jawad this teacher what does it mean rough rough uh, mm. not smooth or level yeah well it means not smooth or level as this uh, the rocks are rough all right so here um, read this example, Jawad. This paper is rough. Yes. Okay. So again, as you see, we used rough to describe the paper and we might describe the word rock with rough. So rough is an adjective. It describes nouns. Okay. Let's go to Alma again. 
Yes, teacher. Am I read it? Enough. Enough. Bravo. So as you see, enough is a kind of determiner or a pronoun. This is the word enough. All right. Now let's see uh, what it means, Ya yeah, Alma. As much or many of something as necessary. Bravo. So when you say that um, this is enough, like um, this amount is enough, it, it will suffice, right? Like we don't need any more. This is the meaning of the word enough. Here we have an example. I, I'm strong enough, that's enough. Exactly, and when you are annoyed, you use this word enough, like stop it, okay? When you tell someone enough, like please stop it, I had enough, okay? Yeah. Well, it has a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now here, let's, uh, be, be, all right, before we um, continue, um, would you like to use them in sentences? Or do you need yes. to prepare your own sentences first? Shall, shall we do this exercise before your sentences? Yes. yes. All right. So here, what do we have? We have, I'll, you know what? I'll just ask someone to read the words. Hamza. Tough, fought, tough, rough, though, enough, through, high. Thank you so much. Can you find the word cough? Cough. Can you find it here? What is that? Do you need the help? Me, me, me. Who? Me. Jawad. Jawad. Wait, wait a second. Okay, Jawad, where is that? Teacher, I found it. Where is that? The right side, uh, the fifth line. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. That's what you mean, fifth. To the C. Uh-huh. The fifth line. I C. have, wait a second, I need to. Okay. Yes, here it is, good. So, excellent, yeah, Hamza, thank you so much. Okay, now let's go to ask someone else. Talia. Talia. Okay. All right. Um, fart. Fart, yeah, where is it? Um, uh, I found tough. Um, so? Okay, where is it? Tell us. It's on the left side, mm -hmm. um, on the third uh, third square. Uh, you mean like this? No, 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 no. From, from the bottom or the top? Middle. Top. Middle. Here? Yeah, it's on the, the middle. The third. Here? I can't find it. Here yes, it is. Here. Here. All right. So, okay. One, two, three. I can see now. Good. So, horizontally, here it is. It is horizontally in the third uh, line. Uh, here's the word tough. Okay. Now, uh, let's move it to can the I next answer? one. Rough. All right. Yes. Who wants to answer? Me. Me. You know what? I want you now to raise your hands if you want to answer so that I uh, ask you one by one. I think that would be yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. Sir, I found it. Yes. Sir? Um, last line. Uh, give, 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 uh, save the chance. Did you find rough? Safe. Um, yes. Where is it? On the last, in the last line. The last one here. To the left, yeah, rough. No, to the left. Rough. The left or the right? Sorry. On left. Here. 
Yes, from the R. This one, yeah. Exactly. Right to the right. Excellent. Yeah. Teacher, the, teacher, there's two, teacher, there's two roughs. Here's one. Give me a second. Yeah. Wait a second. I guess you're right. R. I don't know. The one that uh, Seth found. R O U G H. Oh, you are right. We have two roughs. <laughs> oh, but wait a second. We can't take this one because this one will be taken for another word. If you notice, we have oh. th here, so we will keep it to this word, right? So right. we will take this rough. Okay. Yeah. Now let's look at the next word. E. And I will add, oh, all right, who wants to answer it? Who found it? Mustafa. Mustafa, where is it? Read it first. The, Read it. Uh, though. Though, yes. Where is it? In the first line in uh, uh, this word, uh, fold, this T, in the last T, and uh, hill, yeah? And oh, yeah. you can... Uh, bravo, this is though. T-H-O-U-G-S. All right, bravo. Here's the word though. We should have taken H as well. Excellent. Right, now let's go to the next word. Let me first cross it out. Okay, so who wants to... Who found it? Yeah. What's your name? I can't... Just right. Jawad. Oh, right, Jawad. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's on the right side. And Why don't you read the word first? Enough. Enough, yes. The right side, this side, right? Left, left, a little. The left side, okay. From the, the bottom or from the top? From the top. Mm -hmm. Right, in the right. Mm -hmm. A little bit right. So, uh, next to the to toe. It's next okay. to the toe. You mean here? No. No. Why don't you tell me how many columns I should count or lines? Columns means those are columns, all right? Lines, you go horizontally with lines. Nine. Count nine. One, like this? Columns? Yeah. Nine columns? Yeah. Oh, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Okay, yeah. bravo. So here it is. The excellent Jawad. Here's the word enough. Very good. Now, so can I answer? Who wants to answer? Ahmed Jamus? Yes, okay, yes, of course. Read the word first. Throw. It, no, it's not a throw, it's a through. Okay? When we have R, it's a through. This word yes. is though. We read it all, though, without R, but this one is through. Where is it? And left the Here, last oh, one. Here's the last, last one. one. Last one. Wait, a, give me just a, a second. All right. So from the from the bottom, you mean, sir? So? Yeah. Here. All right. Excellent. T H R O U G H. Very good. Excellent. I found teacher. I found the last word. Hamza. Did okay, you? Hamza. Read the Hi. word. Mm -hmm. Did you find any words? Yes. Okay. Uh, because we are going, um, you know, in order, one by one. Uh, let's let's listen to Hamza. Hi. Uh, it's on the. Where should I go, left or the right? Top or the, bottom? On the top of the 12th column. Right, so right here, from the, from here, okay? From the left, now teacher, from the left. Okay, this is the left. The 12th common, column. The? 12th. Why don't you start from the right and say, one, two, three, four, the fourth column. It's easier, right? Anyways, no. here it From is. The left to the right. Yeah. 
Okay, so H, I, G. Teacher, I found them all. H, excellent. Yeah, they are easy to find. Very good, everybody. We still have four minutes to listen to your sentences. Okay, now look at these words. Okay, I want you guys to choose any word that you want. Read it and give me an example using it. So, uh, I'll ask. Those students who are raising their hand, you want to answer, mm -hmm. raise your hand, all right? And I'll start with you one by one. Thaer. Choose a word to give me an example. Or to, to say a sentence using it. Okay. Cough. All right, use it in a sentence. Prepare the, your sentence, okay? I'll take someone else and you will have the chance to prepare your sentence. Mustafa. Uh, I want the word uh, uh, hi. Okay, go ahead, use it. Uh, I saw a very high uh, building. Building? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Bravo, yeah, Mustafa. Let's take uh, Ahmed Jamus. Sa'ir, when you already tell me. Ahmed Jamus. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, choose a word and uh, give me a sentence using it. What? Which one? Num number one, C cough. 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 All right, use it. Um, the so I need a minute so I can think about it. I think about something. Okay. Did you please me? Who? The Alma. Alma. Yes, Alma. Um, when you cough, make sure to, to go to the doctor. Excellent. Bravo, Alma. Thank you so much. Okay, let's say... Okay, Leon Khandi. Yes, teacher. Okay. Choose a word. Um, hi. Uh-huh. Um... I want this to... building. Mm -hmm. This building is so high. Excellent. But now I want you to choose words that are, are not used, like other students didn't choose. Oh, okay. right? Excellent, Alma. Thank you so much. Uh, Layan, sorry. Okay. Um, Talia. Uh, I went through. All right. Um, the needle is so sharp, it could go through fabric. Excellent, uh, Talia. I like your sentence. Very good. All right. Yes. Hamza. Okay, Hamza. Sorry, I unmuted you. Yes, go ahead. I unmuted you. I will have though. Okay. The Grot Begin Hof is a strong building, even though it's 400 years old. Excellent, Hamza. Very good. Very creative. Thank you so much. Yes, ya. Mm. Zaina Asad. I want a uh, tough. Yes. My brother is a very tough guy. Excellent. Bravo. Okay, guys, now uh, let's see. Uh, Sa'er, did you prepare your sentence? Sa'er? Teacher, I'll put my cough. Yes. Okay. What's your I sentence? cough. I cough because I am so tired. Excellent. Excellent, Sa'er. Good job. Ahmad, did you prepare your sentence? Um, the, hi, teacher, can I do hi? Okay, yes, sure. 
my pencil, not, not my pencil, um, the TV is so high. Okay. Okay, Did guys. I have another one. Oh. I have another one. Go ahead. This lamp, this lamp is very high. Yes, this is better. All right, yeah, Ahmad. Now, guys, this is the end of our class, okay? Uh, see you tomorrow, inshallah. And remember to do your booklets. And if you have any questions, prepare them to ask to ask about them tomorrow. All right. Bye bye, later, everybody. Teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks for the class. You're welcome. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. See you later. Bye. Inshallah. <laughs>